What's up everyone, Kitchell22130 back here for a quick update after last night's college football games. We had some good ones and then we had the spotlight game in Boise, what they call Potato State now. The Ducks and the Broncos, 16 versus 14 respectively. There was a lot of defense in this game, which was very surprising. And then there was a little bit of a, a self-defense at the end of the game and we'll show you what happened there. But let's get to the highlight right now, Boise State and Oregon. The Smurf Turf was hopping in Boise. They were talking about this was the biggest event in the, in the city of Boise, Idaho, since Kenny Chesney was here in concert. Kellen Moore wasn't really much of a Kenny Chesney fan, nor was he a big fan of the pregame handshake because he just wanted to go in and throw some touchdowns. He'd find his favorite receiver, Austin Pettis, for a 10-yard score. And then the Broncos use a little bit of trickeration. You know Chris Peterson's that kind of coach. Boise State takes an 8-0 lead in the first half. Now Oregon backed up in their own zone at the four-yard line. They ran the zone replay all game, and they never had any success from it. And they also gave up points to it, a safety for Boise State. They lead 13-0 at the half. But what's even more surprising, from this high-powered Oregon offense that scored about 35 points a game last year, they had zero first downs in the first half. Chip Kelly completely bamboozled in that first half. The second half, though, would start off well. There's Jeremiah Masoli, short touchdown run. Now they're starting to make a little bit of a comeback. It's a 19-8 game. Now they have fourth and one with just under 12 to go. And LeGarrette Blunt, another zone read, and he finds nothing. Oregon, they got thrashed, they got dominated, and they lose 19-8. But the, the bigger story at the end of this game was this sucker punch from LeGarrette Blunt. Some people were saying, hey, he might have been provoked. Maybe there was something going on there. But honestly, no one believes that this was warranted by the starting running back. He had to be restrained by security officials and taken off the field. It was just a, just a crazy show. And then at the end of this game, he had some comments for the media. Take a listen and find out what he said. Yeah, I couldn't have envisioned anything new worse than this right here, but... We, I mean, I tell you what, I will, that would never happen again. I would never lose my head like that again. And like I say again, I apologize. I won't get mad. Like I, I will never resort to that to that level of, of um, that would mean sportsman, sportsmanship this time. And I, and I should have, I should have, I should have handled that situation a lot better than I did. So yes, I did pick Boise State to beat the Oregon Ducks last night. The Smurf turf once again proved to be too much for Oregon. But coming up next week, my Boilermakers take on Oregon. So it will be interesting to see how Purdue game plans now. More than likely, the Ducks will not have LeGarrette Blunt for a significant amount of time. So it will be interesting to see. Other games that were interesting to watch last night, Utah didn't look nearly as impressive as I thought they would against an, a decent Utah State team. IU barely beat Eastern Kentucky, who's an FCS school. That's it's kind of disturbing from a Big Ten team. And then the other one, Ball State, after their just fantastic year last year, lost to North Texas at home, who they finished 1-11 last year. That, that one just shocks me as well. So overall, a great start to the college football season. Also, a shout-out to that NC State fan that commented on my ACC preview saying that the Wolfpack were going to be great this year, and there's a reason why I didn't preview them and have them in my preview. That was why. They only scored three points, and they lost at home 7-3 to to a mediocre South Carolina team from the SEC. So... I will keep you guys up to date on anything else that's going on in the world of college football. Until then, Kitchell 22, 130, signing off. See you guys later.